generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode we placed a lot of showers. As you can see we still need to plumb them in but they are pretty much done. Actually no they're not. We need to put the we need to put the tiling in which is going to be an issue because I don't think you can use tiles outside. Hmm. We'll check that in a moment. We also got another grant done. It was the basic detention centre which is all sorted. So we're still waiting for the long term investment. When that's done we are going to then go over to the prison maintenance grant and then probably visitation. So we'll just see how we get on with that one. But for the time being I think we need to plumb all this in. We need to probably expand the kitchen and then uh, probably do the reception as well. So let's just crack on with that one. So utilities and then large pipe and we just need to check that the large pipe is running down to the bottom which it is. Now the connections for this I'm probably going to run up. I'm going to just run this pipe along like so because we will need this pipe to go to this cell block so that's fine. We then need to go for a small pipe and we're just going to run the small pipe like that. Now I know some people have mentioned about uh, the size of this thing and that uh, it's probably going to cause a lot of fights in the different areas and I agree. I'm still on the fence about whether I want to change it uh, later on, whether we have it as a gap of three but we'll see how it goes for the time being. White tiles are indoor only, yes they are, so we're going to we're gonna have to use the uh, probably the standard concrete tiles is probably the way forward like that yeah I think we'll do that in fact while I'm on I'm actually gonna place some of these tiles because it's a lot of walking for the uh, for the work peoples so if we do this it'll mean that I know we're spending some money I think it's gonna be spent well because it means they're going to walk faster especially around here Police doing this, it will get this finished off and then we know we're pretty much done here. I'm not against finishing off the rooms in their entirety, like the kitchen and canteen, but it's just the funds mainly, it's just the, the lack of funds. Uh, do I want to sack some workers? I think I'll be alright for the time being. Although, to be fair, I am going to fire a couple. Um, I did hire, I think I hired four. That was mainly to get rid of the trees, but if I sack two, it means we're not our daily cash flow is zero, so that's fine. So, we will do that. That'll be finished off. We then need to do the reception. The reason I'm getting this done sooner rather than later is that because it's it's not a... It's not like... Um, it's not a big job, but there's lots of stuff to place. Like, there's loads of little tiles and stuff like that. So, it takes a while. It's more just the, the time it takes. Um... I want to get the reception sorted, so if we go over to objects and we can see we've got tables and things like that, I'm going to put tables either side like so, because this is where they'll uh, be searched. Obviously office desk will go right in the front there with a chair, and uh, there it is pretty much done. We'll probably put two chairs in because we can. In terms of the entranceway, I don't know what sort of tiles to use, we'll have to see. Most of the walkways will be the concrete tiles as standard, although we could do something else with like mosaics, but uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, some people have mentioned about the power station here and that it's going to be a nightmare to connect up, especially going around this lake. I totally agree. I don't have a solution for it, though. They said move it elsewhere, but I don't know where else to move it. Also, if I do that, I don't really know what's going to go here, so mm, we'll see, we'll see. Some, someone did mention about moving this one further to the left as well, so we get a bit more space. Yep, yeah, that's totally acceptable. I don't know why we need more space in here, but, you know, we, we can gain more space, so I might shift that over. There is a gap of two here because when you place things like capacitors, they uh, sometimes... Oh no, they don't. They, I thought they placed the electrical cable to the right of them, they don't. So technically that can move over to the left. This entire thing can be shifted over to the left. We're not going to do it because it means deleting all of this and that's just not going to happen. <laughs> but anyway, so it looks like the reception is now sorted. I think for the reception we'll have a mosaic flooring in there. So we'll have mosaic floor all the way around here. And then we'll just place that in and then we will have concrete tiles in this section here. Now obviously this is going to have another gate and another... Actually that doesn't look very nice at all so I will do that. Um, this is going to have a... a probably... Probably going to have two metal detectors and then the another gate I think. I think that's probably the way forward it means people can't just rush out obviously we haven't got road gates but we do want to put those in eventually the exports and other things are going to stay on the other side in fact I could probably move those further up but anyway that's um, that one there we've got another 14 hours for the long-term investment to finish what I'm gonna do is just do some all of the, uh, the little extra stuff so we'll just uh, connect up the connect up the fridge 
because that's not going to go anywhere. I don't know whether we want to put some more serving tables around, but we'll, we'll have to see about that one. What I'll do, though, I'm going to go to planning and then uh, to objects, and we're going to start working out what the what size the canteen's going to be. So I'm going to go for 4b3s with a gap of 2 in between them, and hopefully we can get something that is decent. Well, if we do that, it's... Uh, a bit of a waste. So we could go for a gap of two. Still, well, it, could, it won't be centralised, but that's, a, that's not a great issue. What if we put it as that direction? That's a bit better. It means you've got a central... You've got the ones either side. You've got a gap of two either side and a central one of two as well. That would be okay. Can be very cramped though if we do this. It's also massively oversized. What if we have a gap of two in between? I mean, even a gap of two, we're going to have still far more tables and chairs than we would ever need. But it's not a big issue, is it? Really. Realistically, it's not a massive problem. Um, it also means we'll have the gaps on either side to place the serving tables. Which I'm still in two minds of changing. I'm thinking we could get ten there. Sorry, two there. Then we get some more there. If I move this in one. Actually, if I move this in one. Um, that wouldn't make any sense anywhere. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think, though, having the tables like that is probably the way forward. There, and there. Got two there and there. Uh, that's still quite close to the edge, though. But it means we can have serving tables down there. Let's just place them there and see what it's like. And I'm hoping we've got a s decent space down the bottom because then it means we can... Yeah, we can put loads of um, phone booths down there. Yeah, that's probably the layout. It's going to be a bit cramped, though, when we get to this doorway... Yeah, it is. Oh, no, but we still do have the the double entrance in there. Hang on. Something's gone wrong here. Ah, yeah. Didn't move it down far enough. Ah, yeah, so that, that is actually going to be over that entrance. So we might have to change that. If we shift them all to the left by one, then we've got good separation. Like that. Yeah, probably that then. Probably that. I mean, it's far, there's far too many tables, but it means we can have these serving tables straight down that side. I'm actually going to dismantle these ones here. Um, I'm just not a big fan of where they are. So we'll go to objects, dismantle, get rid of these four, and then we're going to place some more. So I want serving tables. One, two, three. Four. And yes, we can place it there, but I'm not too bothered. And one, two. And then we can place them down there if we need to. There's the grant completerated, which is good. We'll go over to the prison maintenance grant, which most of it's done. And I just need to hire some more, which is going to be one and two. And there's that very easy grant done. We now have 39,000 generic units of currency. Um, we've got visitation rights, security procedure certification. That's a fairly easy one to do. Prisoner acclimatization. We'll go for visitor rights. And then what we'll do is build this building here, which is going to be our... Actually, I might as well just build it all the way down to there, quite frankly. This is going to be our visitors area and unknown, because we currently don't really have a, a purpose for that one. So... That's going to be our. That's going to be our um, canteen, probably. This bit at the top here, I'll probably, I might get rid of this and put like a little toilet or something in there. That might be, that might be okay. Something we don't normally do. Could do the same down the bottom, bottom as well. We could extend this up and across and have um, like toilets in there. Because when the prisoners turn up and they don't, if they don't um, want anything to eat then they often just stand around. So I think it's important that we uh, 
give them something there. So there's our visitor area. As mentioned, these are going to have... Let's just put a door in there for now because I don't know what this room's going to be. And I don't want it to be bricked off fully. Yeah, this... Um, I, I don't know what sort of prisons we're going to have. I don't know how we're going to have this set up as. Whether it comes, goes to visitor tables or not. Hmm... How many visitor tables do I need? Three visitor tables. There we go. So we need common room, pool table, two TVs, five phone booths. Well, the phone booths are easy. We're just going to place them down the bottom there. There we go. Common room, pool table, at least two TVs. Well, we could, just to get the grant done, it's not going to be here. It's not going to be here. Um, there's the grant. We'll cancel them. We're just getting the grant done. This is probably... I don't think this is where the common room's going to be. Although, although, we could... We could have this as the common room. But because it's so close to the infirmary, we'll have this for, like, the Alcoholics Anonymous and stuff like that. That might be a... That might be a, a decent way of doing it. Uh, we'll go for security procedure certification. You need to hire 10 guards, assign 3 to patrol routes. Well, you can see we've got surveillance. Uh, we'll go for dogs. We'll go for... Um, we'll start unlocking education for uh, the warden there. We've got legal. I don't know if we want that. Uh, land expansion, no, not yet. Um, we don't... Do we want legal and get small cells? I don't know, but we do need to get a cell block done. But it means planning these ones out. The, obviously, there's going to be three different ones. Um, this is where we're going to have our workspace as well, because that's something that we wanted from the get-go. So, let's go for... Assuming this is going to be a cell. Let's just work on this one here. I mean, they're all different sizes, aren't they? That's a 36, and I think the other one was like 31 at the far end. Uh, 33, and then this should be 31. No, 30. Okay, fine. So, 36. I mean, what sort of what sort of cell block can we have? Well, assuming we're going to have entrances... Let's assume we're going to have an entrance like that, either side, right? Like that. So, it's easy to get in and out. Um, our standard size cells are your typical 3v2s. Yeah, so it's that. All the way along. And then it goes along. Now, because... I'm unsure if we're going to have graded cells. There will be a cell that will be slightly bigger. Um, which is fine. We can handle that. The question is, do we want to have graded cells? Well, I guess graded cells is generally a good idea. It just keeps prisoners a bit happy, you see. Um, we could still have cells in the centre as well, like that. This one, you understand. The other one's going to be completely different. There's going to be no, there's going to be no cloning going on. Um, that's a really weird size one, isn't it? <laughs> if we wanted to, we could have a slightly larger cell there. Um, so there's your basic size cells. Then you've got slightly larger, even larger, and then we could have like larger still. And there's your grading. There's your grading completed. Obviously, there's be other, there's other things to go in there, but it means that that is that is technically graded. Um, and there's those are still going to be that's still going to be a weird size, though, isn't it? I'm sticking with the gap of two all the way around. These are going to have the same sort of thing. Mm, do I want to shrink it down? Have two that size? I don't know. See, then we've got like a really small cell there, and that would actually require the grant of small cells. Hmm. Don't we really need it any bigger either? No, I, th I think that size is fine. 3b2, we could have that and not have one in the middle. Interesting, we did that. 
have them really long. Like that. No, not like that. It's really long. No, I'm not a fan. No, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. I think the original idea of that was fine. Because then you're getting your 3v2s is just on its side. It's just a bit different, you see. But then you've got like a... A stupidly large one on this side. <laughs> Which, uh... Doesn't make much sense. Although we could do that, and then you've got a slightly bigger one than that one there. Oh yeah, okay. That worked out. Oh, we'll do it like that then. That's fine. Right. So, okay. Building brick. Let's get it done. Let's see if we can get cell block A completed. Excellent. So, we'll need to run some electrical cable. I'm going to run it down from here, and then follow the... I'm going to cross it over and then follow the pathway. Um, this will run across... And then down and round, probably. Although, to be fair, if we just did that, that'll probably get into all of the areas anyway and get it all connected. The pipe work will go to the end, and we'll just run small pipe work around it. There we are. That should be fine. That should be fine. Look at that. It actually looks nice and clean now, which is a surprise. So, I think next episode, we'll go ahead and build that. Does require an entrance. Obviously, we'll sort that out right now. There we go. That is now uh, all sorted. Uh, we do also need to run some electrical cable around here just to uh, power it up. I'm not going to be too too bothered about where it runs. We're just going to run it like that. There we are. In terms of power, you can see the power usage is about one third, maybe a little bit higher, of uh, maximum capacity currently. Obviously, we do have another. Um, several capacitors to place if we did need to do that. Um, we've got education through... Uh, so reform through education initiative now um, partly completed because we've unlocked education through bureaucracy. But also you need a little classroom and have school desks and stuff. I mean, this could be that. that We could have it there. But um, I'm, I think that all of the things like the classroom and the library and such, they should be down here. All of the work areas. And then we're going to have another classroom there. Hmm. Um, one thing that people have mentioned that I forgot to say is that originally I said this was going to be forestry and it is, we're still going to have this as forestry and oh look there's a worker stuck uh, yeah I knew there's going to be one somewhere I don't know how long they've been there um, so yeah I um, originally was going to have originally was going to have this as the as the forestry area but but I am going to fence it off. I didn't think of that when we said forestry, but it's it sort of, as people pointed out, it makes perfect sense. Keeping this as forestry is fine, but they can steal all sorts of tools, which is often forgotten, and indeed what happened. I totally forgot about it. So I'm, I am going to run the fence across and then have a metal detector. So that should, should uh, sort that out. We're still going to have a problem with contraband. It can still be flung over from the wall. That's something that um, is quite obvious. It's from this wall here. We could mitigate that by increasing the size of the wall but then it means we're going to lose a lot of things and why is danger level going up? Ah, oh, because of staff morale of course because uh, these do actually require a break and we haven't got a staff canteen. Right, I'm going to sort that out then and we'll do that next episode. We'll build this and we'll build this next episode and we will go from there. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.